what is on. So so I can collect my bulking calories when I start bulking. We'll quickly refresh um, my weight at the end of my bulk was 200 pounds, so we use that nice easy number. And my maintenance calories at that weight was 3,500 calories per day. The assumptions again, we'll briefly go over. I like to go when I'm bulking with 1.2 grams of protein per pound of body weight. In terms of protein intake, this is going to vary widely depending on the individual. I like to go with 1.2 grams per pound of body weight when I'm bulking, but I recommend that you go with 1 gram per pound of body weight if you just started lifting and you're off kind of normal build. This also defend, depends on your body fat percentage. So I'm fairly lean. <laughs> So a large proportion of my body weight is going to be muscle. So that means I'm going to need more protein to maintain my muscle mass and build more muscle mass than say someone of the same weight that is more body fat than me. So if you're mega shredded, you might want to go with a high amount of protein. If you're holding a lot of body fat, just started lifting or just got like a normal amount of body fat, then you're going to want to go with slightly less. So too much protein is bad. Too much of any macronutrient is bad. You just want to get the right levels. There's some brilliant articles out there that will like point you in the right direction anyway. But I go 1.2 mainly due to my leanness. Um, gold standard is about one gram. Average body fat, so maybe go of about one gram per pound of body weight, uh, depending on what you do, perhaps even less. It's a personal preference at the end of the day. Have a read, decide for yourself. Like, this is just what I do personally and it works for me. If you're unsure, just go with one gram of protein per pound of body weight. In terms of fat, I just go for 20% because it's in the middle range and it's in the range of my body type. So if you struggle to gain weight, you struggle to kind of eat the right amount when you're trying to gain weight, I suggest maybe going a bit higher. So maybe going 25% of fats because fats are more calorie dense. So you'll get more calories from a smaller amount of fat. I'm going to go with 20% of my overall calories should be from fats. You can go with 25% as I said. And then the rest of my calories will be made up from carbs. So I'm going to fly through this one fairly quickly because my camera battery about to die. Right, first of all, calories for your bulk. My maintenance calories is 3,500. As a rule of thumb, um, add 500 to that. So I would go up to 4,000. So we will go to 4,000 calories because that is 500 plus my maintenance. You never know as well, you might even have to go higher than this if you're like a real hard gainer. Um, but if you're putting on too much weight from 500, you can always drop it. Putting on too little, you can always raise it. So 4,000 is a good place to start. So protein intake, mega easy again, my, it's 1.2 grams per pound of body weight. My body weight is 200 pounds, so we're gonna do 1.2 grams per pound of body weight times 200, which is my body weight, equals 240 grams. So next up, we're gonna work out fats. I'm on 4,000 calories a day, and I want 20% of my overall calories to come from my fat intake. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to work out 20% of 4,000, so 4,000 divided by 100 to get 1%, times 20 to 20 times 1% equals 20% equals 800. So 800 calories of my 4,000 will be from fats. But how many grams of fat is that? How many grams of fat do I need to eat a day? So we're gonna go back to here. In one gram of fat, that is nine calories. It's more calorie dense. So as I said earlier, if you struggle to gain weight, struggle to get those calories in, you might wanna go to 25% fat, slightly higher rather than 20%, but I don't really struggle that much. We are going to do the amount of calories from our fat, which is 20% of our total calories, divided by nine, which is the amount of calories in one gram of fat, equals 89 grams. So I'm gonna be on 89 grams of fat per day. So to calculate the amount of carbohydrates that we need, probably the best thing ever, what we're gonna do is gonna add together the amount of calories that we use in our fats and the amount of calories that we use in our protein. So 800 plus 960 there. And we're gonna do 4,000 minus the amount of calories in our proteins and fats added together. And that will equal 2,400 calories. So that's gonna be the amount of calories that I've got left after I've eaten all my protein, after I've eaten all my fat, I will have 2,400 calories left. And that's gonna, just gonna be basically the amount of calories in those carbohydrates. How am I gonna work out the grams of fat from that? Again, we're gonna reference this. So in one gram of carbohydrates, there are conveniently four calories. So we know that. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get our total amount of calories that we're allowed from our carbohydrates, 2,400 divided by four equals 600 grams. So 600 grams of carbohydrates is what we're gonna be on. So our bulk and macros are gonna be 240 grams of protein, which equals 960 calories, 89 grams of fat, which equals 800 calories, 600 grams of carbs, which equals 2,400 calories, and that will add together to give us 4,000 calories. On this bulk, I bulked on about 3,700, so it's subjective to like metabolic rate, amount of activity you do, how long you've been training, etc. But as a rule of thumb, add 500 to your maintenance to get its number. If you've got any questions, just ask. If you need to help calculate it, just ask. I rushed through the last bit because my camera's flashing red, so it's gonna die any second now. But that is that. So anyway, see you later.